to XCR 14. We kick off the season with the cross country relays at Gels Park. Large entries again grace the start line. First, we look at the men open Premier Division. Six runners, each completing two laps of a three kilometre course. After an early lead pack formed, by the end of the first three kilometre lap, it was Ryan Patterson of Knox leading Geelong's Nick Whiteman. It was Whiteman who changed first to give Geelong a small lead over Knox. Ballarat Stuart McSwain was next. Brenton Rowe was extending the lead for Geelong over Chris Discombe of Knox. Ballarat was still in third with Jamie Huggett. While Geelong's lead continued to grow on the second lap, Ballarat had closed the gap on Knox. Mitchell Thompson was next up for Geelong. Huggett took Ballarat to second place as Jack Davies took over. Knox was now third as Matthew Russ started. Thompson maintained the lead over Ballarat into the second lap of his leg. Russ was not making any headway into the leading pair. Back and forth, Box Hill's Steve Deneen was making up ground. Geelong's lead had been reduced to just 20 metres for Riley Shaw when he took over, with Nathan Hardigan on the chase for Ballarat. Matt Russ gave it all to keep Knox in third, to hand over to Andrew Stevenson. Box Hill, thanks Christine. Deneen had closed, but Box Hill was still fourth. In the Battle of the Region teams, Hardigan had taken the lead by midway of his leg and then increased the gap over Shaw of Geelong. Last from Ballarat now had a clear lead on the second last changeover. Jesse Fullerton up next. Shaw handed over to Julian Spence with Geelong in second. Second last competitor heading off on two laps of the course. Knox's Stevenson was faced with Sam Crowther's costume fail, but still in third. Fullerton held the lead for Ballarat into his second lap, but Shaw was closing quickly for Geelong. As the heavens opened up, waiting to run the Geelong anchor was Craig Mottram. And it was Shaw who overtook Ballarat to give Mottram a good lead at the final changeover. Fullerton handed over to Nick Van Rappos for Ballarat, now back in second. And Crowther maintained third for Knox. Mottram encountered the most challenging conditions of the day. Van Rappos battled to keep Ballarat in second. Mottram ran on to record the fastest leg of the day, 18 minutes flat, and take Geelong to a clear victory. Ballarat had to settle for second. Craig Appleby brought Knox home for third place. The highly fancied Box Hill team were not in the medals this day and finished fourth. Uh, yeah, very happy with the win. I uh, had, a, had a few uh, recruit, recruits this year uh, and uh, plus uh, Mottram as usual, so it was, a, it was a, yeah, a great run. And the way it sort of finished, I guess that last leg from Mottram, pretty happy with how that sort of unfolded. Yeah, yeah, it's always good to have him watch him in the end and we, I think we are already leading before he, he took the uh, baton, so um, yeah, it was great. And the course itself, how did you find that? A bit of a change from last year? Yeah, it was, it was different um, running reverse this year, so um, yeah, no, I, I like this course. It's a, got a few hills and a few tight corners, so. And of course the weather, you can't miss it this time of the year, it sort of comes out. How did that sort of impact on the race, do you think? Oh yeah, I was lucky I was first runner, so I didn't... Um, it wasn't raining when, when I ran, but um, yeah, it was a bit harder for the, the last couple of guys, but uh, they ran all right, I think. <laughs> and here are the top 10 results for men's Premier Division. In response to increased competitor numbers, women's Premier Division has moved from four to five runners in a team. Melissa Duncan cleared out early for Knox. 
Box Hill was next with Laura Powell. Then Corinna Fife of Glen Huntley and Sinead Diver of South Melbourne. Duncan changed over to Kate Seabold for Knox. Nearly half a minute back, Powell handed over to Sophie Perry for Box Hill. Kelly Hetherington was up next for Glen Huntley in third place. Into the second lap, Seibold maintained the lead, but Hetherington moved Glen Huntley into second place. Knox held the lead as Karen Barlow headed off. Glen Huntley was second with Hetherington. Box Hill held third with Grace Brown, the new runner. By midway of the third leg, Amelia Aslanders took Glen Huntley to the lead. Box Hill had just moved past Knox to take second place. With the Hunters in the lead, as Landers passed on to Cassie Hyle. Box Hill were next as Natalie Ambrose came in. Karen Thorpe took up the running for Knox. No change to the order for the first three teams. Brooke Williams took the lead as anchor leg for the leading Glen Huntley team. Last runner for Box Hill was state 5,000 metre track champion Laura Powell. Knox was still third. Joanne Newman, next runner. By midway of the last leg, Powell had taken Box Hill to the lead and running strongly. Glen Huntley was back to second again. Powell was untroubled to win for Box Hill with the fastest leg of the day, 20 minutes 17. A tired Williams held on for second for Glen Huntley. A fast last leg by Kelly O'Kane brought Geelong up to take third. With early leaders Knox coming home fourth. It was pretty, pretty hilly, but um, I actually quite like the change of course going around the other way. Prefer it to last year, in fact. And how the actual race uh, sort of panned out that last that last leg, bit interesting there. Um, yeah, the last leg was great. Having Courtney um, running fifth, she just powered home, ran an awesome time. So good to have her on the team. And the season sort of going forward, it sort of anticipate a, a, a close season going by the the race today. Yeah, hopefully we'll be up there with the Glen Huntley girls the whole way. It was close last year. Um, hopefully we've got a bit more of a chance of coming up on top this year. So yeah. And here are the top 10 results for women's Premier Division. Hope you enjoyed this coverage from Gels Park. Stay tuned for more athletic action from Athletic TV.